Hello everybody, I'd like to start by wishing all of you a very very happy 2016. I know it's not exactly the 1st of January uh, or the 31st of December but and I've been absent for a very long time which is why I thought the first episode this year should be about me talking to you guys and giving you an explanation of where I've been and what I've been up to and why you've not seen any videos on my channel for a bit. And the truth of the matter is that like you know I've been traveling a lot. I went to New York for two weeks, I went to Mexico for one week and then I went to Rajasthan in the middle for a music festival and then there were other jobs that I was traveling on and I just felt like I took my camera bag with me but through all of it and there were so many memories that I thought were worth sharing, especially because it was a new country, it was my first time in New York and my first time in Mexico. But I'm going to say this, even though it may not be the kindest thing to say to you guys, since you're like, you know, YouTubers always feel like their viewers are their family, which is true. But we don't tell our family everything, do we? And we don't like to share everything with our family all the time. Uh, and that's just exactly what happened. I haven't taken a holiday in so many years. I just felt like keeping it all to myself. So it was very selfish. I don't take a holiday often at all and I felt like I wanted to keep it private and to myself and enjoy just that moment by myself. I had so much fun and I think I had, I'd say it's like a soul stirring, life affirming bunch of memories, a holiday in general because it was so private. So forgive me, but I'm not exactly sorry for not sharing. I'm sorry for not maybe telling you guys in advance or sharing even a little bit, but seriously, I'm so happy that it was, it's all there, but just in my mind and in my heart and it's not anywhere else online. And then what are the moments? I mean, most of my time was spent romancing, so there's not much I can talk about that on YouTube. I went to a store called Ricky's or something like that. It's a very big, like a chain of beauty products. And I bought some stuff, not a lot, but I bought some, some stuff because I had so much makeup. Uh, I shopped a lot of like clothes. I even, I even bought uh, a pair of jumkas, like, uh, but they were silver from a shop, very, very like vintage jewelry, which I wouldn't have, I, I've had to pay through my teeth if it were in India. Strangely, it wasn't all that expensive in America, strangely, because this was a store that was selling all of this jewelry. And they're really heavy, like my ears was, but I thought I'd wear it at the music festival in Rajasthan in December, but I didn't because it was, it was really heavy. So I don't know, it's just sitting at home now. But I, you know, I shopped that. I bought a lot of clothes, like I bought this shirt. This is from a store in OAK, Oak, beautiful store. Whatever I tried in the store, I tried about seven or eight things, I bought every single piece. I bought these pants, they're so cool. Look at it, it's like a drop crotch. Uh, it's made from a fleece, it was, it was warm over there. I still wear it here because I love it. Mm, I bought these shoes, they're Nike Air. They're really beautiful, can you see them? Uh, this is the Bombay Dirt, I've got to get them washed. Apparently if you use a toothbrush, it's great. But these were beautiful and they're from a famous store called Kith. K-I-T-H. This store, when you enter, it's like dark and there's glass shelves and everybody's got like a special, like a matrix earphone plugged in and they're all, they all talk on these little discreet microphones. Uh, and the first thing is me and my friend Amber were at the store. She took me there because I kept saying that I have to buy a pair of white cakes. Like I just have to get plain white cakes. In. It's not often that you get a nice pair in India. And I, the first pair we both laid our eyes on was white and it had some gold buckles. Like it wasn't too OTT, but it was this one element on that big white shoe was pretty intense. And I loved it. And she said, that's so you. And I said, yes. He asked for my size. I said, it's a nine. And then he got me a 10. And thank God that he didn't have a size nine because me and my friend Amber were, like, were just like, okay, what do we say now? It's kind of embarrassing because we're going to have to settle for like the 100, 150 rupee dollar. But I just made the excuse of, oh, you don't have it. Oh, damn, I really want that pair of shoes. You don't, are you sure you don't have it? Do you want to check? and they didn't have it, so. And then I bought these sunglasses from the same, um, well, it's the same sort of department. It's called Atrium or Atrium or something. Uh, this is a handmade pair of sunglasses by Retro Super Future. Look at them. I like them very much. And I met a beautiful uh, gentleman who, you know, it was drizzling one evening. I posted about this on my Facebook and my Instagram because it was that was a, a real defining moment for me because um, so we had a, a long day uh, or evening together 
And we went out and we had a dollar pizza, which is a thing to do, apparently, in New York. One dollar pizza, very full of cheese and full of rubbish, but it's so tasty. And then it was raining and we didn't have umbrellas, we just had jackets. And then it was cold, so we had to pee. So he made me pee into someone's lawn. Then we crossed like an apartment. Again, it was like a fence. We crossed the fence, we jumped into the uh, compound, we sat on a bench. This was at like one o'clock or two o'clock in the morning. And we sat on the bench and we had a beer. In the, it was drizzling. And uh, then it was time to say bye, so I booked my cab, he booked his cab, and the, the cabs were waiting on the corner of this sort of crossing. And uh, so we had to say bye. And he's really tall, like six plus, so I'm like looking like this. And you know, in that moment, I realized that my being a part of the LGBT community here in India, and I'm 34 now, I realized that in 33 years, I'd never been able to act on an impulse in a public space. Like for example, if you're with your girlfriend or somebody that you like and you're looking into each other's eyes and you know, in that moment, you feel an impulse to either kiss or hold or whatever. In that moment, I realized that I just never acted on that impulse because we're so conditioned to live in a society that makes us feel almost guilty or wrong for doing something like that, that you tend to keep it for a later moment, you know, and then you procrastinate and that moment's passed. And then what's the point of really living if you can't express yourself when you feel it? We kissed and it was so beautiful. It was like as if time stood still for me and I could just feel those, the raindrops on my face. It was beautiful. So as soon as I sat in my cab, I wrote this status update and that's what I posted. That was a great moment for me because then I realized that I'm not going to limit who I am and how I feel about uh, people when I go back to my country. So that was a lesson for me. And then I went to Mexico after that. I was in Cancun. We went to Playa del Carmen, which is the coolest beach. And then I went to Tulum. I posted some pictures there because the water was so blue, the sky was so blue, the sands were so white. There was like a line of flamingos that were just flying over in front of me over the water. It was so beautiful. The nicest part of my entire trip would be that, again, I had a Tinder date in Mexico. I did go on another date. Judge not, but the average gay man has a lot of sex as compared to heterosexuals. So judge not, but if you have a gay friend, you know how it works for us. So anyway, I was on this Tinder date and it was supposed to be just a hookup, but we ended up having such a great time. So instead of spending just an hour together, we spent a week together while I was there and we traveled to Tulum together. I think I posted a picture of him too on my Instagram, but he was wearing these shades because I don't like uh, tagging my love interests on social media. Uh, however, yeah, and by the end of that trip, I realized that I was like, mm, I was, it was tugging at my heartstrings which doesn't normally happen because I'm very strong-willed and I know what's going on in my head and my heart. But like life happens, you know, some things are just unplanned. And uh, I, I think ever since I left, uh, both he and I have been feeling so unsettled in a way. And I've been projecting into the universe that, you know, I want to go back um, to experience more of that relationship. So let's see. I mean, not that I'm in a relationship with him, but experience more of that interaction between the two of us. And the good news is that as luck would have it, and seriously, I think this is luck at its best because I got called uh, to work on New York Fashion Week. It's true. So I'll be working on New York Fashion Week in February. I leave uh, on Feb the 1st. I'm super excited about working, of course, because I get to work with top-notch models, the best models in the world, the best designers in the world, the best shows that there are in the world. Um, and I will this time work my camera because it is a work trip and I plan on, you know, having sort of consistent content for you guys. I'll do some tutorials maybe, if I find a model or something, I don't know. I'm not carrying a lot of makeup because it's very, the baggage allowance isn't much on these airlines. Uh, that's how they make money, I guess. So, yeah, that's the biggest news. I'm going back to New York. So for those of you that are in New York, I'm coming back on the 8th of Feb. No, I'm back till the 18th. So. I don't know how busy Fashion Week is going to keep me, but if I get some free time, we'll see. I don't know. For the friends that I've made in New York, I'm so excited to see you guys again. Amber, last time we only got to spend a day together, but you know, I love you so much uh, and we'll definitely hang again. Anjali, my friend who I stayed with, I definitely want to see you again. Thank you for hosting me. This was my video, the first video I wanted to share with you guys. Write in, tell me uh, what you think. I'm going to do a community chatterbox video soon, which means for those of you that don't know my new viewers, Community Chatterbox is a series of videos that I do on this channel 
where I read comments live and answer them channel. So write in and tell me what you think about this episode. Don't forget my social media handle on Snapchat, Instagram, Facebook and Twitter is Elton J Fernandez. So you keep watching and I'll keep sharing. Take care.